My name is Theo Randall and I've just written a book on pasta. Now, I love pasta. I love the simplicity of pasta. And the book is all about simplicity and how to make really good pasta. And, you know, we go so wrong sometimes. We cook, overcook the pasta, we drain the pasta, add it to the sauce. And then we then kind of make the pasta before the sauce is made. You know, always, always, always make the sauce, get the sauce ready, then cook the pasta. The pasta cooking is so important. And, you know, when you look at the packet and you look at the packet and it says nine minutes on the packet, cook it for eight minutes or even seven minutes and let those last two minutes of cooking time in with the sauce if there's enough juice in there. And if there's not enough juice, add a bit of the pasta water. Don't be scared to use the pasta water. Because so many times we make, make a sauce and reduce it right down, it becomes very sort of dry and intense. You add the pasta and it's all kind of oily and all sticks together. It doesn't look very nice. Add some of the pasta water, let it all toss it together, let it all get kind of juicy and let that, all that lovely seasoning go into the actual pasta. Now I'm going to make a very simple uh, tagliarini. Now this is um, some tagliarini which I've, I've made, but you can buy really good uh, tagliarini now, a dry tagliarini, which is uh, an egg pasta. And if you look at the colour of this pasta, that's pappardelle. Uh, and this is um, basically using a lot of egg yolks and tipo zero zero and semolina flour. Now, Fresh pasta is one of those things where you think, oh God, it takes so long, I can't be bothered. But if you actually take the time to do it and get yourself a little pasta machine, you can get, get one for about £30, really nice little one. Um, and if you actually m you take the time in making the pasta, and you know, if you read the book, you'll see how to prove the pasta and make it work, the pasta. Because the thing about pasta is, fresh pasta, it should almost be like an sort of elastic band. It should be really kind of... Um, have elasticity to it. And the more elasticity it has, the thinner you can roll it, which makes it more delicious to eat. When you have thick pasta, it's not very nice. You get that kind of very kind of floury, globby kind of flavour. And also it's quite important to actually dry the pasta. And I let, I, this was made yesterday, so it's all sort of dried out. And what happens when you cook that, it won't go slimy. If you cook fresh pasta straight away, it's going to go a little bit slimy. So try and make it a few hours in advance. And one good tip is to put it into a fridge covered in cling film and just pop it in the fridge and it will automatically dry out in the fridge. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our tagliarini. This is tagliarini with brown shrimps. Now these little fellas are brown shrimps and you can buy them really uh, in, in most um, fishmongers. They come in little packets and they're all peeled and ready to go. So this is actually a very quick one. We've got a, a, a courgette or zucchini, some garlic and a little bit of parsley, a bit of, bit of butter and the lovely tagliarini. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start off with the courgettes. Just get a, a, a grater, cheese grater, and then just grate the outside. And it's a really good way of preparing a zucchini incredibly quickly. Okay, so that's our zucchini. A little bit of garlic. Just a few slices. We can use a little touch of chilli. Just a few little slices of chilli just to give it a bit of background uh, heat. You can use dry, but using a bit of fresh air. So what we do is we're gonna, we've got our zucchini grated, got a little bit of chili, a little bit of garlic. So we're gonna basically cook the zucchini with the pasta. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry the garlic and the chili with a little bit of butter. This, this recipe is using butter. Now a lot of fresh pastas, you can use butter. It's quite nice in them. You use olive oil as well, but they're kind of, sometimes they're sort of better suited. I mean, the most delicious pasta of all, I think, I make my kids all the time, and that's just tagliatelle or tagliarini with a little bit of butter and some parmesan and lots of black pepper. It's absolutely wonderful. So we're just going to add some butter. Just, we don't want to get any colour on the butter, we just want to soften the butter. And then to that we're going to add our, our garlic and our chilli. Should be enough. Then we're just going to add some our brown shrimps. So here are the brown shrimps. So, I mean, you could eat them on their own now. Delicious, this is what they use for potted shrimps. So, add that. Be quite generous with them because you know you, you need that flavour. I mean, really, when they just cook in that butter, the flavour really comes out of them. And what you're doing is you're going to get the seasoning in the, in the butter. So our pasta waters. I, think I haven't had any salt, so I'm just going to use a nice more than sea salt. And then we're going to add add our beautiful yellow tagliarini. And at the same time, add our zucchini. And just wait for that to cook. This is a really useful tool 
taking pasta out because I'm actually going to take the um, pasta out of the water by scooping. Now if I drain all the water off, I'm going to do that thing of losing all that water. And I want a bit of water in this because this is going to be a slightly um, sort of dryish sauce. Well, not dry, but so I'm just going to use that. It's very simple. Just pick one of those up and then don't worry about the bit of excess water. That's fine. And just get all those bits out. You might get a little bit of pasta in the end, but it doesn't matter too much. And then this is very important. You're going to toss it at this point. Toss it, toss it, toss it. And then you're going to add a little bit of water. So I'm not scared of using water. So add the water. And that pasta is a little bit underdone. So I'll let it cook in with the sauce again. So don't make too much mess. But then I'm going to add a little bit more butter because I want to have that lovely sort of fresh buttery taste. So a little bit more butter at the end. And then we're just going to let that all cook together. Check the seasoning. And then this is the bit. You want to really make sure that butter and all that lovely juice from the pasta and the zucchini comes out because obviously courgette's quite wet, so it's, some water's going to come out. But you want to just like, let that kind of cook in the pan. And having something like a frying pan is the most brilliant way of doing pasta because you can see what's going on in the pan you're not sort of stirring it and the bottom's cooking before the top and you know you can really just it's really good to see what you're doing and you can really get lovely strands of pasta and that's what you want you want the, the pasta to absorb the sauce and you want a little bit of juice in there but you don't want to have loads and loads of juice so you have the juice separated from the pasta you want to have the juice incorporated in the pasta so it's got this lovely seasoned flavor I think we're almost ready. Just one last toss. That's what you want. You want that lovely, shiny, glistening pasta. And when you plate the pasta, try and incorporate the pasta and the sauce all together. Don't just put everything on top. Just try and mix it up a bit. Just make sure it's all incorporated. And then that's my tagliarini with brown shrimps, zucchini, chili, butter. And let's have a go. Mmm, delicious.